Hi everyone, James Manzel here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, we're back in my live, laugh, love bathroom. Yes, here in glorious Las Vegas. I am going to be doing a special makeup look today because I got sent some special PR. That's right, PR sent to me, James Manzel, from none other than ColourPop. It's their ColourPop X <coughs> collection. Oh my god. First things first, let's do like a little mini unboxing. Right, look at my share. I broke her out because we're in the bathroom and Cher always just hangs out in her bathroom. See, she's wearing actual vintage Bob Mackie. Sorry, Kamora. <laughs> All right, let's put her down here. She can hang out in her bathroom with the rest of the girls. Oh, don't show your girls, but the rest of the girls. Yeah. All right, now let me show off the box and everything. Like, this is how it came out. I may have taken the stuffers out of it because the stuffing was really, really severe. So yeah, it's shifting around in there. Barbie X Colourpop. I'm excited, this baby pink box my favorite shade my favorite shade of pink barbie color pop and it's the old malibu barbie kind of you know box packaging you can tell from like the barbie mirror that's old malibu barbie oh an interesting time for barbie it's not my favorite barbie face like it was a transition face before they got to like the really ultra glamorous psychotic looking 80s barbie malibu barbie she's a bit you know, suntan. She kind of looks like Sherry Cafaro from like those old, you know, exploitation films. Mirror. Okay, that's the little mirror it gives us. Perfect for size of my hands. I have to say, like, this is very dainty, just like my hands. Hmm. I'll have no problem with this mirror. And that's our palette that we're gonna be digging into today. Lovely. Ugh. Open up. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. That is the highlighter. And that's the little mirror, I just haven't taken the sticker off yet. That's pretty. Look how big that thing is, my god. And this thing I could smack somebody with, like, ha! Ha! Just knock somebody out with it. Eyelashes and lip liner and lipsticks. Yes, this is fun. I'm gonna get started. First things first, I gotta block out my brows and I'll be right back. And probably do foundation too. We're gonna do a lot of stuff, then we're gonna do the makeup. All right, <laughs> Gary. I'm back, 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 back again. Oh, whoop, that was that. That killed that. Well, I'm back. All right, we are gonna dive into the palette. Oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I've done highlight, contour, block the brows, the color correct, foundation, all that stuff off camera because y'all already know how that works. Okay, so let's dip into the palette. I'm doing Zuma Beach. I wonder if that's a Barbie reference or is that just like a beach in California? I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's start our eyebrows. It's this way, y'all already know. If it goes south, I'll just end the video right here, and this will become a crying video. Yes. James Mantle cries in her bathroom 15 minutes long, emotional, not clickbait. All right, we know where the brow is gonna be. That's the shape of the brow we're gonna do. So, let's move on to our eye. We're gonna do one eye on camera, probably, depending on how long I go. Let's see, here we go, let's dip in. Let's go in with a lighter color. I'm thinking boardwalk. Yeah, we're gonna do Boardwalk first, because that's a pretty color. One of my favorite oldie songs, and one of my favorite covers by the Tom Tom Club. They did a cover of that song that it is to die for. The Tom Tom Club, an offshoot of the Talking Heads, known for the song Genius of Love. Oh, if you're all familiar with Fantasy by Mariah Carey, that's the song she sampled. She sampled some bangers, man. The 90s were great for song samples. I wish people would start doing that again. I guess like it's sort of happening with like TikTok. Like I was like blew up when I saw that like the Shangri-Las remember walking in the sand is now like a famous TikTok like meme. The oh no, oh no, that one. And that is a fantastic girl group record. So dramatic, so melodramatic over the top. Mary Weiss singing the house down at like 16 about love she was not experiencing. Yes. I remember they used to talk about the Shangri-Las, how they'd come into the studio, like these big beehive hairdos and like sunglasses and leather jackets, like looking so tough and they're all like 12. Just looking like they're in like a girl street gang. Cause that was the look. And they're one of my favorite girl groups cause they were like, you know, along with the Ronettes, they were the bad girls, you know? The ones that like they, you know, kick the shit out of ya. Beat you up in the schoolyard and take your money. Love that. Not so clean cut, wearing prom dresses and stuff like that. Just going back and forth with Zuma Beach to add a little shadow because we're gonna cut a crease and put a color down. And then maybe do a big color on top, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out as I go along. Right now we're just becoming a supermodel. 
Yeah, I thought it was interesting they chose Malibu Barbie as the color scheme, I guess, because it's summertime. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Do you like Malibu Barbie? She's never my favorite. I don't like bone straight hair, and you couldn't really do anything with her hair unless you like did a lot to it. And the way they like installed it on the doll's head, it like stopped before her ears. It's a very, very weird setup for a doll. It's not my favorite. The 80s definitely improved on the shortcomings of Barbie. All right, so far the formula is pretty good. Like I have to say, like I'm digging it, especially Boardwalk. This is a very pretty shade. Let's try Let's Go Party to warm it up a little bit. And I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. <laughs> Let's Go Party, Barbie. <laughs> Talk about leaning in. You can't really tell, but in the palette there's a rainbow pressed on it. <laughs> I love an aqua reference. Time to cut the crease. I'm gonna cut it off camera, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, I am doing my nose right now. Oh my goodness. We're gonna finish up the eye in just a few seconds. Ugh. Now as you can tell, I'm doing something completely out of my comfort zone, I'm doing pink. There are a lot of other colors in here, but like, again, it's every single color I use already. It's like orange, pink, and blue. That's my palette. It, this palette was made for me, it, this is my palette. Barbie, that, that's just me. I'm gonna take a little bit of Best Coast, which is this pink one. I'm gonna get the brush all saturated with it. And I'm going to circularly rub that in to the eye crease here. And y'all see me do this before. I'm gonna use Follow the Sun, and I'm gonna see how this looks on the lid, because it's super Barbie camp, like that metallic pink. Yes. We all saw the Barbie caboodles in the 90s, or at least I did, because I grew up then. You can Google it if you hadn't. Where? <laughs> Morphe, what the f God damn it, I had to bend over. <laughs> this whole production is ruined. This show is ruined, you guys. Take two. Yes. Oh, that is what I want. All right, Gorge. This is that fantasy bar we all knew and loved in the 80s, where she was just like insane. Like, she had stars in her eyes. That's how crazy she was. Yes. Now everyone here in the world knows that I love me some Barbie. I'm unashamed about it. I'm unapologetic. Like, I don't have as big of a collection as others. Mine are more like Mod Podge Barbies. Like I buy a lot of repros and a lot of vintage ones that are like, they need some love, okay? Like they're usually missing fingers or their paint is rubbed off. I got one where like her nose was like scraped upward. I take them in. Nobody else wants them. They have a home here, okay? I'm a foster home for Barbies. I'm not foster, I'm a permanent home for Barbies. They're not going anywhere till I die. Then I'll probably just have them all piled on top of me in my coffin. Or like on my on like the conveyor belt, just like all my dolls that I've created just like slowly going into the fire. This has gotten dark really fast. Anyways. Oh, vintage doll, that's fun. Let's see how that looks. That could be fun. Let's do that in the corner. And that'll be done with eyes. Oh, that one mixed with that one created like a psychotic little metallic pink in the corner. I love that. Now what I kind of wish I had was like a dark blue, because that's what the 80s Barbie would line her eyes with was like blue eyeliner. Maybe I just might do, I think I'll only do a subtle line here of black just to cover up that inner eye. And then we'll do blue, because that will look insane. Then we really will have reached our psychosis. All right, I'm using 9 p.m. Sky from the Kimchi palette just to do my eyeliner, because that's a dark blue and this does not have a dark blue. I'm gonna do this as a base. And we're going with a couple different colors from the Barbie palette to make a blue eyeliner. I always love the idea of like things that are typically black being different colors. Like I remember a lady I worked at the bank, she told me how in high school she used to have green mascara. And she's like green and blue mascara all the time. It was like a big thing in the like, 80s. That girl said, and I was like, what would that look like? I remember Clinique had a blue mascara for a minute, but no one really bought it. I guess it is just like sort of an oldie kind of thing too, but I wish they'd bring that back. That's fun. Now I have that. I'm going to go in with my Milani eyeliner and we're going to go along the edges of it to create a cat eye. Okay. And going back in the Barbie palette, we're going to be using Malibu Memories. Look at that. Pretty blue color. The shade, same shade as the Malibu Barbie's bathing suit. That like weird boat neck bathing suit that was like, that would choke the crap out of me if I wore that. I would never wear a boat neck. 
But you know what? It was the 70s. Yes. Girl, yes ma'am. I'm just gonna add a little blue on the bottom too. This one I wasn't crazy about, but I already did on one eye, so we're gonna do it here too. We're going full 80s, you know? We're giving you Joan Cusack and the working girl. Cute! And one final touch. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Malibu Memories and just go in my crease here and add a little bit of a shadow there. I'm not going fully all the way yet. I'm gonna start on the end here and then work it. Oh, and there's very little left in the brush to the front. Whew, and just like that, the eyes are done. Now it's time to choose a fun lip shade. I wanna do pink, 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 pink. What the f Oh, that was the top, okay. I'm doing this one. It is, what do you call, what do you call, what do you call? Malibu Sunset Lippy Pencil. And it was paired with the pink lipstick. Where is she at? Okay, and the pink one's called Malibu Sunset. Oh, they're both called Malibu Sunset. <laughs> Malibu Sunset Set. That's not <gasps> the side has Barbie etched into it. I almost, don't, I almost don't want to put it on my lips, but you know what? We're gonna do it. I use the Max Selena collection. We're gonna we're gonna break this in, okay? Let's do this. Ooh, yes, pretty. Okay, now all I need now is a little bit of blush and oh, the highlight. There's a highlight. Okay, okay, we're almost done. Thank God. Let's do blush quick because they didn't have the blush. So we're gonna go in with Trixie. We're gonna use Plush Bunny. I would do Go Go Girl, but this is already so much pink. <laughs> There's so much pink happening in this that I don't want. I don't want to do that. We're gonna go beachy with it. Add a bit more human back to my face. Then bronzer up with y'all already know, Naomi's World. I'm surprised this thing isn't at pan yet. Now, the highlighter I'm excited to use. If I can get the goddamn thing open, I keep having trouble getting it open. I'm afraid I'm gonna like, send it flying across the room. Okay, there we go. That's the one complaint I have about this. The highlighter is hard to open. Brush and it's not the, it's, it's kind of a soft highlight. It, it's there, it's just, you know, it's not the usual, you know, high beam that I'm used to. I'll probably go over with some setting spray and get some more pop out of it. But yeah, this one, well, that, that side's a little better. Maybe just on the cheek. Maybe my cheek's dirty, who knows? Yeah, no, it's a little faint. I'm not crazy, okay. Not crazy about the highlighter, but you know, I can't love everything. Okay, now before I do everything else off camera, I'm going to set with Maybelline Glass Spray to give me some dewiness. Ah, all right, now I'm gonna go and do my eyelashes off camera. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God, I love it. Now I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot right now. Yes, yes, yes. Doing some Instagram content. Yes, I feel like a Barbie girl. I have to say that the ColourPop Barbie collection is James Mansfield approved. I enjoyed this so, so much. Thank you ColourPop for sending me this. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, thank you all so much for sitting here and watching my video and you were gab on and on about Barbie and be a big old nerd. I love that you guys just indulge all my weird little quirks that I love and all my little weird obsessions. <laughs> Big thank you to you guys. I'm always grateful for you folks. And now it's time for a moment of Ben Mo, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on. Ben Mo, I would like to thank James and Kenny. Oh my God, thank you guys so much. That's so much, jeez. Did you leave a message? Let's see, no, they didn't leave a message this time. It just says, love the videos and love you, James and Kenny. Thank you guys so much, oh my gosh. And I have to thank Sergio twice. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you, Sergio. Oh, and again, thank you, Sergio. That's three times. I would also like to thank Thomas and Goldie. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Now thank you all so much for, oh, I'm gonna put the glove back on. Pat. <laughs> Now this look is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mantle Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this look a spritz. Ah, 
Now I smell just like cream soda. Available at BlackBXAlpineLab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. That's why I'm thankful I have Manscaped. Be sure to use my code JAMESM for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. This one is, ooh, the ball deodorant. Yes, no more smelly balls. Unless you like that sort of thing, you know, you don't have to have them if you don't want to. You know, you can pick and choose when they're smelly. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and see my easy big hair transformation. Oh, it's me to transform my Ashley Madison date. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll lose all your money on a slot machine in Las Vegas. So click it.